Today's dish is a delicious shrimp rosé pasta. This dish is super delicious and very filling and you will enjoy it. So stay tuned if you're interested in this dish and don't forget guys, enjoy! Here are a few of your ingredients. I've already pre-cut my ingredients just so time isn't consumed. So you will need some rosé sauce. You'll need some freshly washed shrimp. I got mine from the Chinese supermarket. You'll need your favorite pasta shell. So I'm using these large, almost like cockle shells. You're going to need some tomatoes, onion. I got some parsley here, some fresh basil, some sweet pepper, some ginger, some garlic, and a little bit of green onions. So now we can move on to our stove. So to start off, you want to go ahead and add a little bit of oil to your frying pan, and you're just going to go ahead and skew your shrimp with this. So in my water, I'm going to go ahead and add my cockle shell, and then you want to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to this give the shells a little bit of flavor and then you want to just let those cook the cooking time should be on the package but you don't want these to cook out too soft where they're mushy but at the same time you want them to be cooked properly so i'm going to go ahead and season my shrimp with a little bit of seasoning salt or spices of your choice you can add anything you want to this and i'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp to my So after I've mixed my shrimp in a bit, I'm just going to go ahead and add all my seasoning to this. That smells so good, guys. Those ingredients, the basil and the fresh parsley and everything else, and the onions, oh, just, just makes it smell so amazing. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more oil. I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper. You don't have to do this. You can season this however way you like. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of my dry thyme leaves. This is strictly for flavor. You can even throw in a piece of scotch bonnet pepper in this if you like. If you like pepper. And then I'm just gonna pop this and let this cook on its own for about 10 minutes on low heat. And then I'll add my sauce. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes since I left my sauce cooking. It smells so divine. Oh my goodness. You might want to add some oil to this just so your pasta noodles don't stick together. Or a little bit of butter will do too. Make sure you salt this and season this to your liking before you add your sauce. Now that it's been 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and add a bit of our rosé sauce to this as much as you want or you need I'm just adding half of the jar it really depends on the portion that you're making so if you're making for like a big family then you can use more and then you just want to leave this and let this cook while your pastas are almost finished Alright, so I'm just checking out the sauce. So far, so good. So now I'm going to go ahead and add about a half a tablespoon of tomato paste to this, and then you want to just stir that in. If you're making a bigger portion, you will need more. It mellows the flavor of the sauce and just give it a more divine and delightful taste. Alright, so we're going to check on our pasta now, and they've gotten super big. And if you want to check to see if these are cooked, you can always just take one out and eat it, or cut it in half, and it usually tells you. So it's almost pretty much done. It's just, so we're just going to give this about five more minutes, and then it should be done. Alright, so in a bigger frying pan, I'm going to go ahead and put my taco shells a bit at a time. And then I'm going to add my sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my sauce all over this. I'm 
Look at that, that just looks delicious. And then you just want to mix that in into your pasta. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my pasta shells. And then you just want to mix that in and just let it sit on your stove for just a few minutes. And then you can serve it up just to give that sauce time to infuse with your pasta shells. And then you're done. All right, guys, here's the finished dish. You could top this dish off with a little bit of Parmigiano cheese or cheese of your choice with a little bit of fresh tomatoes. So that is the end of the video, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.